How's it going everybody? So this is my newest addition to my shop and what I'm going to be restoring next. This is an arbor press. Well, let me pan out so you can get a better view of it. This is an Atlas number three arbor press. As you can see for scale, that has a Bridgeport full-size milling machine behind it. And there's the top of the handle there. Sits on this custom-made stand here, and this thing is quite the upgrade from this little gray one that I have been using. I'll slide in over here so you can see the name tag. So, Mandel Arbor Press, number three, A1. So, Atlas came into business in 1911, and their primary tool that they were making were these Arbor Presses back then. And what Atlas is most known for now is when they went into business with Craftsman, they built the Atlas Craftsman metal lathe. And those are one of the most popular lathes for the home hobbyist. You'll see them all over the place these days. They made, they made thousands of them. But this is what they first started building were these ratchet style arbor presses. So this thing works in two ways. You can reach out and turn this handle or you got this big long bar here. Think of this as a giant cheater bar. You reach up, let me pan up here so you can see it. This little tooth engages, and as you pull down, that rotates it forward. So this gives you roughly three feet of leverage out here. And the reason that these ratcheting styles are more desirable than the tubular styles where it is a fixed position is, let's see if we can do this here. So right at this point right here is where you have the most leverage. I'll spin this around so we can get a better visual representation of this. So right here I have the most leverage. But when I get down to this point, there's not that much leverage. And you have to get back to here and be able to reset. So up and down like this, you don't have that much leverage. The nice thing about a ratcheting style is I can keep this in the most ergonomically correct position for pulling down and exerting pressure on this. So that's why these are more desirable. This one puts out 12 tons of pressure. So this is a very big industrial grade machine. And I'm planning on keeping it. This is something that I want to have for pressing on and off bearings when I'm rebuilding motors. As you can see, it's got an open stand there and I am planning on adding drawers there for storage. I work in a two car garage and space is at a premium for me. So this is gonna be storage underneath and then the tool on the top. So. I'm really looking forward to doing this. This is going to be a fun project. Uh, I can tell you that this is not an original wheel here. You can see that it has been welded on. You can see the weld marks right in there, and that's where it bolts in. So this, the original wheel got broken at some point. And I am almost willing to bet money that this is a, a hand wheel off of an OS and Y valve from a fire suppression system. So it will work for now. It's not original, though. So this is uh, going to be some upcoming videos here. So if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching.